Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to the Wasteland, where last time we conquered the hilltop prison out in the Wasteland during Horde Night. It was a fierce battle, and we did it with the expectation that we'd get some good loot, but we did not. In fact, I ended up using the vast majority of my ammo, and all of my equipment is degraded now. However, the workbench finally pulled through, and after setting that down, I crafted up a few lockpicks. I also put a dew collector up on the rooftop with one of the two filters that we've taken as quest rewards. I'm gonna make up a little bit of duct tape, smelt up a little bit more iron, and finally get the three double clothing pocket mods that we need crafted. After that, I'll repair the pipe rifle, and with the remaining duct tape, get me a few repair kits. Craft some more forged iron for later. I'd like to probably get some heavy armor crafted. And with that, I think I'm just about ready to start my day <laughs> at one o'clock in the afternoon. I did hear an airdrop come in recently. Oh, and that is just over into the wasteland there. I think that's a great thing to start off with. We'll hit the airdrop, pick up whatever's there, and then we'll go see Trader Bob and start it on the tier two quests. I'll just carry our companion with us, and uh, when the need arises, I'll set him back down. He's a little bit distracting, so might as well just keep him tucked away until he's needed. Okay, I've just hit the main road, and yep, the airdrop is just ahead, but there are also some places that don't look very welcoming as well. Okay, on my right here, it looks like this is a cave. I can see like an entrance with some gore at the entrance, which is kind of nasty and foreboding. We also have another red rocket up ahead on your right. And then on the left, we have this huge castle, which is just like really imposing over this area. All right, well, first things first to grab the airdrop and I'm gonna kind of do a little probing mission into those other places. Zombie soldier is good for nothing. In fact, most <laughs> gore piles are good for nothing. Check on this, good for timed charges, crafting skill magazine, bundle big hitters, handguns, and armored up. Not bad. Except I just got the lock picks, so I don't really need those time charges for much. Right, what about this little red rocket here? Maybe you can poke in here and get some loot? Oh no! This is populated! We have... We have a whole crew of defenders here. This is an outpost! A friendly outpost way out here! What are you guys doing here anyway? Chris now over here. And I'm Dark Sun, Flounder, good trying. to meet you all. Who's up, to who's up top there? Kenny? Oh, we got massive gunfire over here. In fact, we have gunfire also coming from across the way there. Is this like a, a an ongoing siege, like a battle that's going on over here? What are you guys doing? Yeah, this this is definitely a, a bandit outpost right across the street here. Greater outpost and a brotherhood outpost. Okay, I'm gonna just gonna tuck in here so I can see what's going on. Yep, we, we definitely have an assault happening basically right before our eyes. All right, well, I'm not gonna let the brothers do it alone. We stand together. Nope, I accidentally hit Flounder. Flounder was not happy about that. Okay, I'm gonna just clear out of here for two seconds and let you uh, get your priorities straightened back out. And we got zombies in here as well. Tell me you're not going for me. Yeah, don't go for me. Go for the big man there. What do we get in the bandits? A little bit of brass. Okay, two people here. Watch out. I don't want to injure anyone in it with um, collateral damage, you know? Nope. I'm getting shot, though. I don't know if I can withstand fully automatic gunfire. Okay, probably as good a time as any to get my friend out here. Ooh, TPO. Love the armor there. My favorite set. All right, I hope you guys got some ammo back in your compound because I'm running real low around here. Whoa, look at this guy with the... Oh, 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 okay, run, 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 get out of here, get out of here. I don't have the armor for this. I will just snipe from back here. I'll, I'll join the guys on the rooftop. We'll do some sniping if I can manage to get up there. Who's this guy? Whoa, Johnny, you must be the captain around here. I'll talk in a second. We're a little bit busy right now. Okay, I have a decent vantage point now. Nice. Whoop, that guy over there is kind of taking a beating. Those guys over there kind of taking a beating as well. All right, the guy on the left is down. I think we're just working on all the guys in front of us. Quite a fierce battle going on over there by the looks of it. I'm trying to help as much as I can, but the reload on this is atrocious. Need to get myself a hunting rifle or something. Okay, the ground level's pretty clear. One guy left there. I can't get a clean shot, so I'm not gonna even try it. And I don't see anyone on the ramparts. Although, going, ugh, that's like, you know, room to room combat going through there. And without a good shotgun, I don't think I'm equipped to do it really. There we go, took care of that guy. Wow. Awesome job, gentlemen. I'm glad I could help you out. I think I'll leave the room-to-room uh, -room clear job to you guys. Oh, okay. Fresh. Definitely a lot more people here. 
And I don't... Ooh, I don't want to get caught in a bad spot here. Oh, there they go. Oh, run, run, run. Guy, guy with a shotgun here. There we go. Got a good headshot on him. TPL, I need you to tank for me a little bit. There we go. Down. Two more back there. Or three. Oh, where, where are our friends? They've gone to have lunch. We've got one <laughs> YOLO guy charging me over here with a pipe shotgun. And there goes his head. All right, I think we're good here. Nuclear material that I should not lick, apparently, in that raider there. What is that used for? Nukes. Red be gone. Okay, it's various, various craftables there. All right, well, I'm going to just go through the red rocket here a little bit. We'll check on Johnny and see if there's any loot here. Any kind of free for the taking stuff that I could have. Like, <gasps> was that a... Oh, a power armor rack. Yes. Please give me some power armor. Yes. Power armor helmet and arms. A repair kit and like the, the base set, you know, like the... The, um, the underset, the padding that goes underneath it, the whole set of that. Nice. Okay. Off to a good start then. Johnny, you have jobs? Johnny has jobs. Should I do Johnny jobs or should I do Bob jobs? Oh my goodness, he's got all kinds of stuff here. Broken service rifle. Okay, yeah, I was looking at the crafting recipes for some of this stuff earlier. He's got some mods, he's got some books. Ooh, power armor block buster schematic. We'll have to look into that someday. Hunting rifle. Oh, really expensive though. Okay, well, good to know about. Whoops, I just took his terminal. <laughs> I'm not putting it back either. Anything else good around here? Hmm. Yeah, just odds and ends kind of everywhere. What is this here? Espresso machine. Coffee. Cool. Claw hammer in here. Chem station in the back. Ooh, 17 cornmeal. Not much going on in the vending machines. They've been picked clean, it looks like box here with another motorcycle sidecar we're looking for i think it's the exhaust is the next thing we need to do the repair on the r75 motorcycle at the poopy pants over in town over there some brake lines there although i do need to start saving all the vehicle parts because vehicle parts are what you need to craft the vehicle repair kit and you need the vehicle repair kit to do the final stage to repair a vehicle a whole bunch of beer in there forge a head book in there with some sand a whole bunch of people up here wow this place is like fully defended Love it. Old toolbox. Oh, spark plugs. Good. Duct tape. And with that, I think we're probably good. Okay, let's try on this power armor here. So what we have to do, we have um, power armor helmet, power armor arms. That has to go onto the, the frame stuff. So modify, toss this on, take the gloves, modify, toss this on, toss those onto me. And there's what you get. Oh, 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 nice. Wow, I'm feeling more powerful already. Okay, so that nets us. I don't know how much armor that is a piece that I um, forgot to check there. And this, it, it's not, this is not an accurate representation of what we have for protection right now. But suffice it to say, I think we're doing a lot better. The one way we can check, though, is put the regular armor on, check my character stats, and go... Where is it going to be? Armor rating, 31.22 currently, and I put the new armor up to 45.23. So a huge bonus there. So that increases my mobility because it's powered. It increases my armor crit resistance. It just increases everything, and that's only two pieces. Okay, that's what I was looking for at the prison was a little bit of power armor, but no luck there. Broken sarsaparilla vending machine. I'll just go ahead and toast to my success here. Although I can't help but notice I'm not moving very fast right now. I'm quite encumbered. I don't have the power legs yet, so maybe someday. All right, that's enough for this place. It's getting close, close-ish to nightfall. Where did I leave my bike anyway? In the street over here? Okay, yeah, I think we'll head back and we'll probably do the mission, do a mission for Trader Bob, and then we'll call it quits for the night. Have a good day, guys. I'll see you in a couple of days. When I build my base, it's going to be over here somewhere for sure. Maybe we'll push further on down the road. Actually, you know what we should do is we should make it a goal to clear that place out because we can't have a whole bunch of raiders blockading us, blocking the road or anything on the way back. So once we clear out the castle... We can uh, proceed further into town and build our base out there. Base design process is coming along nicely. I've gotten the pen and paper out and just drawn up a quick design. I'm not sure if it's going to work. I think for the design I'm going with, stability is going to probably be the biggest challenge. But I think we can make ends meet. We can get started on construction and see where the weaknesses are going to be and then make alterations from there. Okay, we're here at Trader Bob's. All seems quiet. The fences are currently inactive. 
That's not gonna last for long though. No, I just said that. I can hear one going off on the back. Well, I'll leave him to it. Okay, one thing I did notice is that I don't have my helmet flashlight. Hopefully that can go on to my power armor stuff over here. Yep, that's just a an item modifier. Oh, unfortunately, this seems it's all very low level, so I can't put very many mods on, but I, all I need for the helmet anyway is the flashlight. Okay, well, let's take a job here. Hey, a supply run. What do you think that is? Boiled water? Okay, gather materials, craft a supply bundle, give it to the trader. Water, flour, yucca fruit. Okay, I wouldn't be able to do that, so... As, um, as easy as that does sound, it's basically just shuttling back to the base. Ooh, we have infested jobs, though. A bunch of them. Wow, those are gonna be really hard. Okay, because our game stage is pretty high and we're in the snow biome. You know what? It's getting close to nightfall. Let's just do the clear zombies, and we'll look into some infestations in the morning in the relative safety of daylight. Holy crap! Oh! What is this? I thought... TP, where are you? Get, help me out, man! What are you doing? You just let this guy sneak up here? You're taking a pay cut, man. Well, there you go. That's <laughs> stealing the kill from me. Wow, you're really getting on my nerves today, man. All right, you ready to go or what? Where did I park the bike anyway? I have a hard time remembering. There we go. And we are off to... That's the opening trade routes quest there. We got to get the quests kind of straightened out here. Yep, yeah, give me the tier two clear. That is right close to home. That's kind of perfect. I'll meet you over there. Yeah, I managed to make it over here, although I'm at 0% of the d durability for my bicycle right now. Let's see if I can get that. Yeah, durability 3 of 1500. Okay, maybe let's get a repair kit into this. Uh, that's, you know, two thirds repair. That's good enough for me. Whoops. Oh, what's going on here? Another bee, a hunter bee. Oh no, not again with these guys. Oh, the mysterious stranger is here, taking him out as well, nice. All right, let him tank on T-Peel. T-Peel's got the good armor here. And, oh geez, can I can I just get a bead on? They're so fast, man. Mysterious stranger is, has left me. No, when I need him the most, crap. Come on, come on, come on down here so I can melee you. Yeah, this one's just, they're, oh, there's two of them and they're just circling ahead. There we go, take them out. Okay, I got stung, but fortunately I'm not getting like stung stung, you know, where it, like I get a debuff. Oh, <laughs> hold still, he's right on top of your head. I'll get him off. Stinger is stuck in his neck or something. There we go. All right, and um, I'm starting to think that maybe, what, how do I do this? Anti-venom, ah, uh, it's still unlo uh, still locked. Although I think this is prop. wait a minute, blood sample. I don't know how to get that. Pure, oh, that is really difficult to make. Okay, I thought I thought we were all like halfway there, but we're, we're like one fifth of the way there. Okay, so oh, there's still one left and it's just about nightfall. I think there's another one flying around over there. It's risky, but sometimes you gotta risk it for the biscuit. Okay, we just gotta get the inventory straightened out here and we can get started. In fact, I think I will just pick you up in um, in anticipation of probably stirring up too much trouble around here. Oh crap, that is that is cooked. But yeah, the inventory is actually fully unlocked because I'm never encumbered at night. Another new mailbox to search here. Urban Combat's the landmine book. Already read it. And how are we getting in here? I don't know. There's <laughs> there's no way in. I forgot my lockpicks as well, so I guess I'm just gonna go in. Oh yeah, <laughs> through the window. My bad. Whoa, my God, that scared me. <laughs> Did you see the jolt there? I could hear someone, but I didn't know where they were coming from or who they were. A couple of bookshelves in the back here. Double armor pocket mod schematic. Oh, yeah, this place. Oh, curtains. Nothing but bones, basically, in the kitchen. Bones and some chicken noodle soup. What do we got here? Get out of here. Who's in the bathroom? Whoop! Two people, it seems. I'm trying to do this the smart way. There we go. Oh, and of course there's a safe here, and I don't have my lockpicks. It's okay, I should be able to break into it easily. And that was good for some cash and some steel club parts. You know, Parts are actually way more valuable than I was expecting because a lot of things require parts to repair. Like, for example, the impact driver is requiring motor tool parts, although there's this weird stack of inventory items that I can't really tell what's going on over here. And also, this the crossbow requires bow parts, so gotta start saving most, if not all, of the parts. Except for, like, you know, spear parts, stuff like that, that I'm not likely to really ever use. Some construction materials in the back here. 
with one zombie? Two zombies. I see guys to drop in. That is a feral there. Was a feral there. Nothing but junk around here so far. We're up into the attic now. With some medicine in the corner here. Always check your corners around here. Blood bag. I wonder if that's used to maybe make a blood sample. Recipes. No. I've yet to figure that one out. Perhaps there's like a blood draw kit or something like that. And a level up now with seven skill points to spend. Yeah, I meant to do that earlier, but I got a little sidetracked. So how about we do that right now? Jeez, with seven points and us going mostly with melee right now, I feel like Pummel Pete is a pretty good bet. Three points for that. I'm gonna also go with some points into salvage operations. We'll go two into that. And with two remaining points, let's do something in... Yes, no, Daring Adventurer right here, I think is the one. That'll be better trader items and more dukes. There we go. And now we're doing the balance beams over to what I could only imagine is the main loot. In here with a zombie. Oh, one more. Look out. And we're gonna have to shoot that one, I think. Got her. I think we have one outside zombie still around here. Ohm Depot sealed chipping crate here. Basically electronic stuff. And for the main chest here, lucky looter book, more dupes and loot. Nice. Customized fittings mod, ammo, and that's about it, it looks like. And it just drops me right back down to where I came from. And area is clear, so we're free to get out of here. Let's just go do home first. Drop our stuff off and get ready for a morning mission. All right, we're back at the base, all safe and sound, and I think it's time to craft some iron armor. Level two is all I can make, but that's fine. We'll go with iron boots to replace my leather boots. We already have the gloves and the helmet, so we require iron legs and iron chest. All right, definitely repair the baseball bat. Use some of these bow parts to repair the crossbow. And we're gonna need a lot more repair kits. And there we go, just cracked morning and <laughs> there goes my open backpack there as well. I'm, I'm just thinking here, if I keep five or so of every type of part, I think that's gonna be sufficient and I can kind of sell the rest because I mean, the value on all these extra parts is crazy. Anything else I should repair? I mean. I could repair this stuff here, but honestly, the repair kits are kind of difficult for me to make right now. I'm making some glue and such, and also, the last thing we need to do is take that forged iron and craft myself an iron shovel so that we can start harvesting resources. We're gonna start having to collect that stuff, and we have to build the base out of at least cobblestone from the get-go, because if it's made out of wood, it'll just catch on fire and burn to the ground. Definitely some activity going on outside. I can hear zombies fighting wolves, or... Maybe not wolves, but some sort of a creature anyway. Okay, I got my scrap laser pistol crafted and the armor is all set and modified. So I'm going to slap that on and see how it looks. So we'll have two fifths of our armor is steel and powered and the other three fifths is like iron and not powered. My head is just goofily large, but hey, whatever gets the job done, right? Something about this place is like the zombies down below. They, they know I'm here. I can hear them down there. They're waiting for me. But they're not doing anything, they're just kind of wandering around. It's really quite convenient, actually. They're not doing any damage to the base at all. They're not making too much noise. I quite like it. Just a bit of XP waiting for me for when I go downstairs. Speaking of that, there is my iron shovel there and I'm hoping I can slide two mods onto that. Very nice. And we can start digging up supplies when the time comes. Okay, we're getting to the point where we have a lot of inventory stuff to lock up here, which means less room for looting. Well, that's what I got a companion for and a bike. If I could just find the stupid um, stuff for to repair that motorcycle, we can get out of the bicycle age once and for all. All right, with that taken care of, let's go to Trader Bob's. All right, good morning, Bobby. I hear some Utilitron robots outside. Did you hire some extra protection around here or what? Anyway, let's see what we get for a reward here. Of course, an iron helmet. I <laughs> just crafted a whole bunch of iron armor and a really nice iron shovel. Just crafted myself one of those as well. What's the extra damage there? Okay, watch your back. There's a zombie here. Take care of that guy. It's 10% extra damage for the iron shovel, or we can get the Molotovs, which will just help in basically all scenarios, including lighting houses on fire. Now that I've said that, I'm gonna go with the iron shovel. We've got a lot of digging to do anyway. And a new job for today, how about this supply run? Okay, same thing as before. I don't have the yucca fruit, I don't believe, so can't do that one. And there is no infestation today. So in that case, I'll take the fetch and clear at the 
friend. Uh, Haug residents, it looks God, like. So, Utilitron robots. Last I saw, one of them was fighting a bear over here. That didn't last very long, though. Oh boy, poor guy. Well, I'll, I'll take the bear out in your honor. And the other one is over there fighting a zombie. Let's see if I can help him out a little bit. Oh, nope, he's getting shocked on the fence now. Kind of ironic, but um, yeah, I guess he can get... Um, it, unless he has a surge protector, he's still vulnerable to extra electricity. Ah, crap, I gotta do that sell-off. <laughs> I'm not doing... Oh, we got SMG fire somewhere, too. Not doing very good on my trader run tactics today. All right, Bobby, if you'd be so kind, empty your pocketbook for me. Give me everything you got. That was good for an extra $4,500. Nice. And I could probably even just sell him my shovel once I get the mods off of it. An extra 30 dukes from that. And I think we're ready to go here. Okay. I think we're about ready at this point to get our companion back for the day. Welcome to the team. Yep, definitely some SMG fire going on around. Oh, no, no. I was just about to search that guy. Okay. What I'm going to do here, see if I can get a good headshot in. And I'll let you do all the tanking for me, if you'd be so kind. Oh, actually, I think he's distracted. Get another shot in. Or he doesn't, he can't see where I am. Oh, oh lucky me. Got a dumb bear out here. And I. Are, this is like a perfect defense right here. If these blocks were stronger, we could definitely hold off anything. Plenty of places to shoot through. <laughs> yeah, that didn't last long, did it? Okay, I'm gonna kind of ride the bear from inside here. You know what? We really, we don't need the meat, but it's hard for me to leave without taking it because there's just so much of it here. So I'll take it. Give me that. And with that, we are off to the fetch and clear. Although I'm hearing like the electric fence sound of like a broken electric fence. So Bob's fence might be in need of repair. And I'm not sure I have the technology to do that with. Well, anyway, that's a problem for Trader Bob. Uh, Trader Borg, I've heard him called, actually. That's his nickname around here, Trader Borg. So, yeah, it's all, it's all on you, Trader Borg. All right, this is usually the neighborhood that uh, the Brotherhood has been active in lately, and today's no different. Who do we have over here? Friendly, I'm sure. Yep, Christopher here. Christopher just wrecking people. Okay, well, it's good to know that I've got someone that has my back out here. Just double check. Yeah, I can't talk to you. Not high enough level yet, it seems. And I think this is our clear spot here. Let's go around to the front, though. Yeah, we need to get a shotgun for our companion because I think the shotgun's probably going to help out a lot for the the bee problem, the hunter problem. And the way in is just in the back here. It's kind of crushed a little bit, like a tree fell on it or something. Tier 2 fetch and clear. Let's hit it. And we should be good on the impact driver now to do plenty of harvesting while we're here. Okay, and for our efforts today, we get some magazines here. Still haven't cleared the area, I'm noticing, so we gotta look around for the final zombie that's here somewhere. And in the main box here... Okay, nothing I don't already have. And some trash here? Sure, I'll take that. Where's this last zombie, though? Not getting any indication either. Might be... There was a shed outside. Might, gotta, might go check on that. Is anybody hanging out back here? Nope. Empty. Could it be that Kagarath killed someone and I didn't get credit for it? Or could it also be that, yeah, I skipped a huge portion of the POI because I was harvesting doorknobs and opened up areas that I wasn't supposed to go to yet? I would put my money on the ladder there. I'm gonna track these guys down. They're in here somewhere. Here's one. Two, in fact. Ooh, nice wrench in there. What's the block damage on that compared to this? Oh, okay, far better than the vehicle impact driver. So we can save the vehicle repair impact driver for vehicle repair and not use that for our day-to-day -day anymore because it is pretty atrocious on the stamina. And I'm getting the indication that, yes, the pool house here is where the last zombie is or zombies are. Pretty sure they're going to be right in this. Whoop, maybe not in the closet there. All right, too easy, and that was it. No one's back here. Maybe a few odds and ends around here, like some free wood. Take some of that, and some free chairs for metal. And is there anything hiding? Ooh, that's cloth right there. Never gonna leave without that. Anything hiding in here? Like a safe, weapons bag? Nope, 
Nothing in there. These chairs here, though, are a pretty good source of iron. I'll take those home with me. And I think we're pretty much done here. Are these a good source of cloth? Two. Two cloth. Good for nothing. Are these doors good for brass? Nope, just good for wood. <laughs> I'm learning some things today. All right, I think we're done here. And a quest reward for all of that is going to be, I will have to say, forged steel. That's got to come in handy at some point. And another job here. Let's go for the clear zombies to the northwest, the Rendon residence. I think it's probably right next door to where we were before. All right. I have a little bit of inventory space left. Everything else is packed away. So um, I think we can do one more mission here before we have to go drop our stuff stuff off. Oh my God, you scared me there. Right here it is. Not exactly next door, but close by nonetheless with a whole bunch of solar panels out front here. It looks like many of them have been searched and looted, but got another brotherhood member over here. This one's with a power hammer and the pink visor. Mr. Michael here. Cool, I'll leave him to it with a <laughs> rocket-powered sledgehammer. I don't think he's gonna need much help from me. And whoop, before we hit the quest there, free building materials right here. Not gonna leave without these. All right, hit the quest. Check number two on the mailbox, Rifle World. Nice. Search the car, hopefully get some um, vehicle parts. Not today, but also gonna wrench it. I'm kind of theorizing that perhaps if we found like broken motorcycles, we could wrench those for the motorcycle specific parts. Cause I think we're looking, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh my God. Ow. Okay, hang on. There we go. I'm kind of thinking, yeah, we, we need a like R75 specific exhaust pipe. And I just, I don't know if we're gonna find that in like regular loot, you know, we might have to like target that. And yeah, everyone's inventory is really full right now. All right, let's get in here. We gotta get inside anyway. I'm freezing cold and I don't want to start taking damage any more than I already have. Oh, I just uncovered a hidden tunnel. Okay, take that. I'm going to search the upstairs, and before I cross over into the other house, I'm going to go downstairs and see what's going on. Oh, tough guy sunglasses there. Fortitude plus one. I think that's my first pair of glasses too. Nice. What is fortitude plus one going to give me though? Gives me well insulated. So if the cold got really, really bad, I could sink a point into that. I do have one point. Probably gonna save that. Is there anything here that I really need? Find more ammo and loot. That's, you know what? Actually, I'm gonna take that because we need ammo for all of the guns we have. Even this only at 31 rounds remaining. In fact, reload that after I shot that mountain lion a couple times. Okay, what's down here? Any zombies? I see a zombie on my compass somewhere. There he is. So looks like we had to come down here anyway. This actually might be the way, the exit, right? Are we going backwards? Yeah, whatever. I'm fine with that. I've been searching bodies all day, and unfortunately, I think the best thing I found was like $40, so. I think it's debatable whether it's even worth it to search them. Oh yeah, because I just poked right up into the main loot here. We're going backwards through this place. No big deal. And in the main loot here, we get super vegetable stew. This is for purifying water, which is nice. And some plasma microfusion cells. I don't think I have a weapon that can shoot those though, yet. Okay, I think we're heading back up into this room. Again, going backwards. So it's going to be a bit of an awkward clear job. Feral here. Mr. Rush. Are we hungry? Are we thirsty? We're a little bit thirsty. Take that golden rod. Do we need brass at all? Do we need radiators? I suppose. Oh. That, okay. We're st I'm stuck. I'm totally stuck here. I'm on barbed wire or something. I don't know what's going on. Oh, yeah. I was stuck on the barbed wire back there. Hung me up. Feral bow. Nothing inside of him. What's in here? Potato seed. Which, you know, we might have to start kind of growing that stuff because if we... Those, like, supply run missions for the trader, the, we're only on the tier twos. And it's already requiring, like, 10 potatoes, 10 corn, 10 yucca. We might have to get a pretty decent sized garden to fulfill any requests that are, like, you know, tier four or whatever. And then we'll have to see what kind of a reward we get for those, if they're even worth the time and trouble. I mean, just gonna get some brass off these doorknobs. Another feral here. Feral's all over the place already. I'm feeling very unsafe. Day 12, and I've killed, like, Probably at least 10 ferals today. Nope, oh, I was gonna sneak attack that guy, but I guess we could just charge in all willy-nilly. Oh boy, another feral. I'm stuck. Oh, also, more zombies behind. You, you mind shooting a little bit? Jeez. Doing all the heavy lifting today. Need to get you, yeah, we should have switched over to the AK. All right, well, patch me up. I have a, an abrasion anyway. 
Okay, final battle here. What should have been the first battle. Yeah, I can see one right through here. Blackstrom and one more back here, Arlene. Oh, painkillers in bow Fresh. there. Okay, just get up the clay soil there. And I think, yeah, we're uh, pretty much officially tied. Let me go check out here, though, and see if I can wrench those down for anything special. I'm inclined to say probably not. Forged iron, regular iron, and electrical parts. Probably worth my time, then. We need the iron anyway. Yeah, and mining is going to be really difficult because I don't have any points into Miner 69er, and I don't have very good tools either. So our base, although the base is going to be big, it's going to also kind of be minimalist, and certainly I'll have to lean on salvage operations to get the iron that we need. All right, we've done well today. Currently 1816. We're going to have to stop at the base anyway, so on my way back to get our quest reward, I'm going to start wrenching down cars and every, anything else I can see along the way. Oh my god! Massive scorpion attack! I was wondering what that soldier over there was shooting at, and I have now since learned. And that's kind of the way that I usually go to get home. They are definitely distracted by that soldier, though. So we gotta use that opportunity to get up out of here. I can't get over this ledge to my left without picking up the bike, and the bike is fully stacked with stuff, so... We're going the long way around. I can continue my little harvesting escapade along the way. Okay, that was a little bit close back there. I'm gonna see, briefly, if I can get up onto a rooftop and maybe take care of one of these guys and see what we get for loot out of it. All right, I don't even know if I have... Oh, that guy's got the right idea up there. Just kind of stand on the the ledge he, like this and they can't seem to climb over. Yep, I like that idea better than being over here. We just gotta figure out a way to get up on the ledge. This is the only way. We, we just gotta suffer the encumbrance and get on up here. All right, status check over here. One of them is down. The Brotherhood member is fighting them in hand-to-hand -hand combat now. And he took him out. Wow, man, you are an ace. Look at this. Look what we got. Who are you anyway? Brandon Bad B. That's what I'm talking about, Brandon. Okay, wh what did I get there? One whack got me scorpion meat. Okay, in that case, we probably got to go over to the knife, right? Oh, we would be eating good tonight. Haven't we had a- we've had scorpion filet before. That was a great meal. I think there are eggs in this too. We could probably make like scrambled scorpion eggs or something. And look, <laughs> the scorpions killed all of these zombies here too. Might as well check these guys up. Or literally nothing. Oh, tempered blade schematic at the very end there. So these things are pretty valuable. Oh, here's the other one over here. Man, he killed all three of them solo. Kagrath, why can't you be that badass? I should trade you in for that guy. No, I just need to find a shotgun. That's kind of been, I, I've spoken about that before. Probably the shotgun's a better weapon all around, but certainly better in close quarters combat. All right, I think that's going to have to do it here. I'm super encumbered and it's now nightfall. Oh, but I'm never encumbered at night, so that helps. Okay, last stop tonight. Stopping by Trader Borg here to see if I can get a good reward. And it's gonna have to probably be the forged steel yet again. The wooden bow, very tempting, but yeah. I only use the bow or crossbow for sneak damage, and honestly, the crossbow is way better in that department. So forged steel it is, and a job for tomorrow. I might... I'll grab this one, but I might just kind of pick up a new one. Get like a infestation or something tomorrow. But I'll keep that one in the bag in case I want to do an early morning mission. So, now it's time to head back to the base. We are fully laden on loot, and my goodness, there's zombies here. There usually are zombies here. Come on, get out of here. And it ain't over yet. Get out of here. Okay. All right, let's go home. 
I'm gonna take apart several cars on my way there. We need everything. Mechanical parts, oil, cloth, you name it. Oh my goodness. Oh, crap. No, cr oh, whoa, no, 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 no. Zombies are in my base. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. I forgot to put down a land claim block and now I don't have a place to live. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. And it's nightfall and I... Crap. Oh, what a mistake. I was just thinking about that this morning, too. Wow. Okay, I gotta clear this whole place back out again. Damn. Okay. Well, it is what it is. Let's do it. Okay, it's not going particularly well. And I can't see where I left my bike. I left my bike way over at the front here. So I need to cautiously sprint my way over there and see if I can get on top of it and clear out of here for a little while. Okay, much safer here. Yeah, I was getting, oh, even despite my good armor, and I'm cold too, on top of everything else. Despite my armor, I still can't tank like a feral big mama or a biker. The two or three shots from them and I'm gone. Okay, Sunset Sarsaparilla, 20% stamina regen bonus. Gonna have to do. And go ahead and take a painkiller. Get my first aid bandages back down where they belong. And now we are freezing, so we're taking damage from the cold. It's brilliant. And that is a feral there. Oh man, I was trying to get sneak damage on him. That does it. Thank you. That That's the big mama that almost killed me right there. <laughs> no, she, no, come back here. There we go. Got him. So that's a couple zombies. Give me that spring. A couple zombies taken care of. What a complete disaster. Although that might also mean that the rabbits have respawned that are kind of hiding inside this thing here. Oh, crap. Taking damage now. Another feral big man here. All right, how are we looking on this level? I ran right through here, so I imagine I stirred everybody up. Probably some more, like, in the bathroom areas and stuff. Whoop! And there's a rad here as well. Brilliant. Thanks for showing up. You're a little bit late to the party here. Get back! Get back! Oh, thank goodness. Just in the nick of time there. I'm sorry I talked so much trash about you. You're nice to have around. Another rad back there. Yeah, I did that on purpose. I wanted um, I wanted a, a convenient way to, you know, get a whole bunch of XP and level up in the middle of the night when I was fully encumbered. Oh, here we go. Stripper party. Too bad the loot didn't respawn. Get everyone together. Oh, there's also the hole in the ceiling, which could present a challenge. Nope, everyone's being perfect little stupid zombies and going right up to the hatch here. Don't catch the dew collector on fire. I've heard that flaming zombies catch blocks on fire. They catch each other on fire, I can see. That's probably half the reason why I've caught so much stuff on fire in my travels so far. All right, going back to the guns for just a second here. Whoop, got him. And I think that was probably it for this place. And it's almost morning too. I was gonna have a productive night of organizing, but here we are. Land claim block, please. Let's not ever do that again. And with that, I do believe we're pretty good here. So, okay, I'm gonna get this uh, stuff organized here. We'll get everything unpacked, unloaded, repaired, organized, and we will come up with a plan for tomorrow. Thank you very much for watching my back out there today, and I will see you first thing tomorrow morning. Hey everyone, I just wanted to say thank you for watching, for leaving a like, but most of all, thank you to the long list of amazing supporters that you see right here. I hope this episode has earned your subscription, and I can't wait to show you the next one. Best wishes to all, and goodbye.